Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to create Google contacts from Google Sheets. So here, let's suppose that your team is getting you leads for your business from different sources and you are maintaining the lead details in a Google Sheet. So your objective is that wherever there will be a new lead detail will be added in your Google Sheet in a new row, then automatically by using the lead details, a contact should be created in Google Contacts. So now to do this, you need to build an integration between these two applications for which I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. So here my trigger application will be Google Sheets and my action application will be Google Contacts. So if you want to learn more, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to create Google Contact from Google Sheets. So here let's suppose that your team is getting leads for your business from different sources and you have created a Google Sheet where these lead details are maintained. So now you want to create a contact in Google Contacts by using the lead details added in that Google Sheet. So now to automate this entire process, this here is the home page of Pabli Connect. And now as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you're a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm signing in. This here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as create Google contacts from Google Sheets. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Google Sheets to Google contacts as this is the automation between Google Sheets and Google contacts. So here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case, that is to create Google contacts from Google Sheets. So now in order to do this, I will go to my trigger window and here I'm going to search for Google Sheets as my trigger application. Here it is. And the trigger event will be new or updated spreadsheet row. So this trigger will start working whenever a new spreadsheet row will be added in this Google Sheet. Now moving to my action window as by using the lead details, I want to create a contact in Google Contacts. So here Google Contacts will be my action application. And the action event will be create a new contact. So as you can see that I have selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So my objective is to create a Google contact from the lead details that my team has added in a Google sheet. So in order to do that here, you can see that a web book URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this web book URL will act as a bridge to connect your Google sheets with Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet and here this is the Google Sheet that I've created by the name of Lead Details and it only consists of one sheet and of eight columns. So the first column is for first name and the second is for last name, third is for gender, fourth is for email and the fifth one is for company name, sixth is for job title, seventh is for the phone number and the eighth one is for the city. So over here, my objective is that whenever in this Google Sheet in a new row, the lead details will be added, then automatically by using the same details, a contact should be created in Google Contacts. So here in Pabli Connect, as you can see, this webbook URL will act as a bridge to connect my Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So taking you to my Google Sheet here, I will go to extensions and make sure you should also have this Pabli Connect webbooks extension. If you don't have it, you can simply go to add-ons. And here in add-ons, you just have to search for Pabli Connect webhooks. So here it is. So as over here, you can see that I've already installed this extension. So it says installed. You also have to follow the same process to install it. I'm going to close this. Once again, I will go to extensions, go to Pabli Connect webhooks and I'm going to click on initial setup. So here in initial setup, it says the webhook URL will be set up on the below selected sheet. That is sheet one. So over here in a Google sheet, there is only one sheet. Now moving to the webhook URL and the trigger column. So from Pabli Connect, I'm going to copy the webhook URL and here I'm going to paste the same. So now moving to the trigger column. So the trigger column is the final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to Pabli Connect. So over here, H is my final column. So that will be my trigger column as well. And now here I'm going to click on submit. So here it says set up configured successfully. 
So now as the configuration is successful, so in this new row, I'm going to add the lead details. And I will show you that the lead details will get captured in Paply Connect because the connection has been established. But first to do that, I will go to extensions once again, go to Paply Connect Webbooks and click on send on event. Because as I will click on send on event, then only it will make sure that whenever in a new row, the details of the lead will be added, then automatically that will get captured in Paply Connect. So as I did that here, I'm going to refresh the page once as this is an important step. So here, after refreshing this Google Sheet, I have added the details of the lead in a new row in this Google Sheet. So that means these details would have been captured in Paply Connect. So taking you to Paply Connect, and here you can see that yes, I have received a response. Here is the trigger column that is H, and here is the spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index, along with some other details like phone number, last name, job title, gender, first name, email, company name, and the city. So over here, the details of the lead, which I have added in my Google Sheet in a new row is successfully captured over here in Paply Connect. So the first objective of this automation is set up. That means now whenever in a Google Sheet in a new row, the details of the lead will be added, then automatically those details will get captured over here in Paply Connect. So this trigger will capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So as I've got the lead details over here in Paply Connect, now by using the same lead details, I want to create a contact in Google Contacts. So to do that here, I need to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. Here, I'm going to click on continue as this is a secure access. So now here you can see that Google Contacts and Paply Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to these fields. So here I'm going to mention these details by the method that is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous steps. So as I've received a response from Google Sheets, so here I'm going to map it from the response. So here is the first name, I've mapped it, moving to the last name. So here is the last name as user, I've mapped it. Now moving to the gender. So over here, I'm going to click on this map button and I'm going to remove this mail from over here. So as I've turned on this map button, that means as per the response which we have received, this gender will keep on changing automatically. So if I would have selected this from the drop down, that this would have become static and wouldn't change even if there would have been a new response. So now moving to the email work. So here I'm going to map the email and here is the email. So scrolling down to other details, here will be the company name. So here I've mapped the company name, moving to the job title. So here I'm going to map the job title that was SEO executive, scrolling down to phone number. So again, from the response received, I'm going to map it. So as over here, you can see that the details which were mentioned in Google Sheets, I have mapped those details. So here moving to the address city that was left. So again, I'm going to map it from the response received. So as I've mapped the details over here in these fields, this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response, so that response can be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So as I've mapped the details, which I have received from the response from Google Sheets, here I'm simply going to click on save and send test request. So as I did that, here you can see that I have received a response and this response is a positive one. That means a contact would have been created in Google Contacts. So now I'm going to take you to my Google Contacts. So here in Google Contacts, you can see that a new contact has been created by the name of latest user. Here is the company name and the job title along with the details of the email, phone number and the city. That means a Google contact has been successfully created from the details which were added in a Google Sheet. So this automation was a successful one. That means now whenever in my Google Sheet, the lead details will be added in a new rhythm automatically by using the lead details, a contact will be created in Google Contacts. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.